My name is Master Sergeant Elizabeth Curcio, and I am the non-commissioned officer in charge of the 171st COVID Tiger Team. The goal of the Tiger Team is to take any changes in COVID-related policies and procedures from local, state, and federal government agencies that would affect the daily operations at the wing, such as mask wear, room occupancy, social distancing, and adapt those changes to be in compliance while also keeping the mission continuing and at the same time ensuring the safety of our unit members. The 171st COVID Tiger Team was assembled in May of 2020 and included a representative from each agency across the wing to include civil engineering, to medical, to logistics. Um, everyone on the team really took on um, a primary role. Um, for example, Senior McKenzie um, took on the base gyms and any policies and changes to that. My name is Senior Master Sergeant Scott McKenzie. I'm the Accessories Branch Chief for the 171st Maintenance Squadron. With the Tiger team, you know, we all got together and based upon the guidelines that were, that were issued by the state, you know, we implemented the mask uh, procedures, you know, you had to wear a mask, yeah, wipe everything down before and after use, you know, all the rules that had been posted at the gym. CE really helped out by, um, they provided us with these big tubs of wipes for everybody to use, real user friendly, you know, you just pull a wipe, wipe down the equipment you were using. They gave us all new mops, brooms to use down there, uh, they provided spray bottles. Everybody really followed the rules. Everybody kind of pitched in and realized that, you know what, we're one big team here and in order to keep the gym open, we're all going to have to follow the rules, look out for each other and keep each other safe. I am Senior Master Sergeant uh, Paul Webster. I'm the Operations uh, Superintendent at the moment. Previously, I was the Installation Emergency Manager. My role in the Tiger team was basically one of the CE representatives and one of our roles as Emergency Manager is to liaise with local agencies like Allegheny County Emergency Services. Some specific examples that we brought back from Allegheny County Services was a COVID screening checklist. Um, we had some mechanisms on the base that we were using, but for us in emergency management at the time when thinking about hosting a civil support team incident uh, training event here, we decided to use that as a local document. So when the people came on base, we were able to take their temperature, ask them the, the questions uh, the, that are required by the state, had they come in contact uh, with anybody with COVID and all that kind of stuff and record it on our own internal document that we filed under that incident training exercise folder. So again, we can go back, we can look at this, you know, if you were trying to do um, tracking or tracing all the people who played from emergency management who came in contact with the CST, none of us um, got any illnesses whatsoever. They just can't afford to have people go down and lose their mission. And for us, it's the same thing. It's about force survivability and mission continuation. The most rewarding part of being on the team for me is just watching all of the different members of the team come together. And the whole time they were keeping the mindset of keeping our unit members safe. So it was very rewarding to be a part of keeping our unit members safe and helping them navigate through all the changes we were faced with so that they didn't skip a beat when it came to the mission. For something of this extreme nature with COVID, it, it went really good. I was surprised. Everybody, everybody was on the same team, on the same page, and there was there were really no glitches the whole the whole way. It went really smooth. 